All right, so I had a customer bring me this 15 inch MacBook Pro to replace the battery. They taped all the little screws in place and that little bracket. And they already attempted to take this out, but they messed up and they said they caused it to like burn. So let's go ahead and see what happens. So some people are telling me that if I use metal tools, it's going to make it burn. So I guess we'll see what happens. Um, I'm kind of curious if it's going <laughs> to burn this or not. Usually the burning happens from the internal materials kind of getting smushed together or exposed to, uh, to air, um, not because of the metal tool that I'm using. So we'll see what happens if I get electrocuted or something. I don't know. I don't think so. But um, I'm going to do it just to kind of show that you should be okay. If I get electrocuted, then we'll show that I won't be okay. So <laughs> let's go ahead and see. Anyways, <clears throat> we're going to use a T5 screwdriver, Torx 5 screwdriver to remove these screws. The customer didn't remove these speaker screws. I'm going to keep them all in order because again, they are different size, shape, and lengths. Um, I probably should be doing this outside. Maybe I'll open a door or something if I can smell the um, <clears throat> lithium, whatever smell, lithium vapors. I don't know what you would call it, but um, if I smell anything that doesn't smell right, then I'm going to have to get some better ventilation. Anyways, they already kind of like started peeling this stuff up. So let's go ahead and just get this out completely. I'm going to take this connector out. Maybe I should zoom in here. I mean, if you want to see an actual um, video on how to do the whole process, I have videos of those up. So um, just search A1398. Um, and then depending on the year of your MacBook, 2012, 2013, 14, 15, um, look for that. <clears throat> All right. It looks like he already took out the two screws from these. Okay. We're going to peel this off. Um, actually we can leave this on. It doesn't matter. Okay. <clears throat> and hopefully he didn't damage anything else, but, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see now. I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. We're lifting up the speaker. I just recently uploaded a video for the 2012 model. But again, this is a different model. I think it's 2015. I'm not 100% sure. I didn't check. Um, and since this isn't a full video of repairing, I felt it wouldn't be necessary to check all of that. Anyways, let's go ahead and cut through this adhesive just like I usually do. Again, if you want to see a full video on how to do this, I have one. So this isn't the video for you to watch if you're trying to see how to get everything completely apart. This is just to show... Um, while I'm taking this apart so you can kind of see and hopefully there won't be any problems with it blowing up Okay I do smell a little bit of <clears throat> something, but it's not too strong. So I think we should be okay Let's go ahead and cut through this. <clears throat> Okay oh. Man this Battery pack is difficult. Let me zoom out a little bit here. Okay. Hopefully the customer took all the safety precautions and um, disconnected the battery and then held the power button for a few seconds before working on this. <clears throat> okay. okay. Most of it out. All right, let's go diagonally here. Okay, let's work our way over here and cut this piece. There we go. Okay, we got that. Again, I'm just gonna quickly be doing this. This one's not a tutorial. So if you want a tutorial on how to do it, again, I have another video showing that. I have actually multiple, excuse me. Okay. So we got that. Let's go ahead and continue prying up this battery. I'm not sure which one got burned. I'm going to guess it was the other side because I can smell a little bit of something from that. But this one, not really. Okay. And if you're doing this, you want to be very careful that you don't damage the speakers. Okay. I had one person tell me they used the wrong... A different kind of tool and they ended up lifting this thing up too far and cracking the speaker over here so you want to be careful because there are um, there's a bunch more of the speaker underneath the motherboard and if you break the speaker um, 
to replace it, you have to take the whole motherboard out. It's uh, somewhat of a pain. So you want to be careful with that. All right. Man, why is this adhesive so strong here? Okay. Oh, God. Why is that adhesive so strong? If you want to make it a little bit easier, you can actually put some rubbing alcohol underneath and use that to help push through the adhesive. It will help remove it a little bit better. Okay. All right, I think we got that. Okay. Go ahead and add an angle this time again. Rotate the tool over this way and get underneath here. Okay. And when you cut this, you actually want to be pulling, you actually want to be pushing the tool straight in. You don't want to try and slice it sideways. Um, usually when I move it sideways, I'm just checking to make sure I cut all the adhesive. But if it gets stuck, you want to pull the tool back and then pull it, push it straight. Right? These middle ones are raised a little bit because of the track pad. So... When you do this, you do have to lift it slightly higher, otherwise you'll just hit the trackpad here, okay? So you have to lift the tool slightly up so that you can get underneath the trackpad, and then we're going to just continue cutting. You also want to be careful that you don't accidentally cut over this way and damage the motherboard. Okay, let me zoom out a little bit more. Customer made the job a little bit more difficult with the tape on all the screws. Hopefully I can remove them easily. All right, we're gonna flip this over. Get underneath and go ahead and cut through this. So as you can see, using metal tools, even when it's already, someone already punctured it, no problem. I kind of wanna make a video purposely puncturing the videos just to see, uh, or puncturing the batteries. I think I said videos for some reason, but I kind of want to make a video purposely puncturing the batteries. I don't know what the laws are. It says not to throw the batteries in the garbage. It doesn't say anything about not destroying them on purpose. Um, I was actually Googling trying to find something about that. If somebody finds some laws that say it's okay, because I've seen videos of people purposely like stabbing and puncturing batteries um, but I'm wondering if that's actually allowed um, or if I'll get in trouble. Um, I kind of wanted to see what happens if I use my little um, BB, CO2 BB pistol and see if it will um, have a bunch of old dead batteries. I kind of wanted to see what would happen or how many how many batteries it would take to stop one. So if somebody finds some information on that, uh, or if they're curious about me making a video of that and you find some information, then we'll see we'll see what happens. All right, I think we got it all out. Let's go ahead and lift the battery up. Okay, flips out like this. Let's see, where did they puncture it? Here. So they punctured a little bit in this corner. So actually, oh man, they punctured it all over here. Here you can see where the foil's kind of peeling up. Okay, so it was on the left side here. All right, so that's what happens when you're not careful. I think he was probably starting from this side and damaged that. But um, anyways, we're going to set that battery aside. I need to be careful. I don't want it to go on fire. Anyways, <clears throat> let's go ahead now and peel this stuff up. All right, just like all the other models I did, this is one of the... Not as old. I think only the 2012 one, they used a foam adhesive that it doesn't peel like this. You can actually um, grab it and peel it up once you lift an edge. 
the 2012 model, it just shreds to bits. Um, I just made a video of that, I think a day or two ago. And that's the most difficult model for replacing these batteries. There's actually some little pieces of metal in there that he dropped. I need to find a place to get all these batteries recycled. I'm, I'm making like a big tub of them. So I either need to find a way to recycle them or have fun with them. So I don't know if anybody knows some projects they can do. Maybe, um, maybe a YouTuber that like, who does this kind of experiments? Niall Red, backyard scientist, something like that. Maybe they can do a video extracting the lithium and stuff from them. I don't know if anybody knows and is kind of interested. They can kind of send them my way. All right. Forgot which. I forgot who does the one where they mess with a bunch of uh, uh, mercury and stuff. Oh, Cody. Cody's lab or something. Um, yeah, so if he wants to do something like that, I've noticed he did like a lot of those kind of refining metals and other stuff like that. Maybe he'd have fun. <laughs> I don't know if anybody knows. I, I don't have contact with people that YouTubers that big. But, uh, let's go ahead and peel this up. Alright, so you can see it's mostly peeling up pretty cleanly. Okay. This one peels up pretty nice. You do want to kind of peel it a little slow so that it doesn't tear, if you noticed. Um, and also sometimes just from cutting the, or separating the foam from the battery part, it has problems peeling up nicely. Okay. I am also going to have to clean up his MacBook because the fans are a little bit dusty. Wow, these are coming out pretty nicely. I'm only getting like little specks of stuff here that I can kind of clean off by hand. Only this one's a little bit bad. That's probably from the initial. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit tough. I'll have to use the rubbing alcohol for that. stuck again okay oh no this one's bad let's start from this side let's see if we can get it a little bit cleaner no that's gonna be annoying it's a pretty big splotch like the other side scrape it a little bit cut some of it off okay all right this battery is coming out or the adhesive is coming out pretty nicely for the most part it's not perfect but it's not too bad much better than t the 2012 model There.
done. Okay, let's get the adhesive residue out. So we're gonna use some rubbing alcohol here. Okay, basically we're just gonna get that all over the adhesive. Okay. Oh, I see where the burning stuff it actually discolored it a bit. Wow. I think I can clean it. At least it's not as bad as what um, one other customer brought to me. It actually melted some plastic on one. Uh, it wasn't this model. It was like a newer, I think 2017 or something. So luckily on theirs, it didn't have the speaker where it burned. This one, it burned near the speaker, but luckily the speaker didn't get damaged. All right, I'm gonna transfer some of this isopropyl alcohol over here. some paper towel to clean up that goop. Alright, clean off that goop. Clean off that goop. Alright, let's use a bit more over here. Alright, throw all the rubbing alcohol all over the adhesive. Help dissolve it. adhesive you want to be careful not to get it in the screw holes you don't want it to get into the trackpad rubbing alcohol itself isn't bad but with the adhesive you don't know it can sometimes cause problems so try and keep it from flooding the entire thing okay all right you can actually see the adhesive is turning a little milky and now let's go ahead and try and scrub it off Okay, it's coming out. Same thing with this side. All right, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better. Just a little bit here. Okay. 
All right, a little bit down there, but not much. Okay, so let's try to clean up this gunk. Okay, let's scrape this up. Yep, I got it. Scrape that up. Scrape this up. Yeah, that's getting it. Okay. So we've got all that gunk off. All right. And now what we're going to do, oops, I accidentally rubbed some of the stuff on it. We're going to put some rubbing alcohol on the paper towel and we're just going to wipe up the residue here. Okay. And of course you want to be careful for the trackpad here and all the stuff up there. Let's go ahead and clean that up. Getting all the little cracks and crevices. Okay. Oh, I still have to clean the dust off of it. Okay, now that we've gotten most of that, we're gonna fold it over to a clean side. Put some more rubbing alcohol. And same thing, continue wiping. Alright. Continue up this side. So I'm going to clean the dust out real quick and then I'll come back, wipe this one more time with some clean paper towel and isopropyl alcohol and then we'll install the new battery. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh yeah, and of course I'm going to clean this as well. Look at the dust in there. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so I'm back. You can see inside. All right, much cleaner. You can see there's some stuff that doesn't really come off as you can see. All right, I'm cleaned out the fans. It used to have some like white powdery stuff. It's all clean. All right, so let's go ahead and clean this a little bit more and then we'll go ahead and um, finish the rest. All right, what did I do with... I had a piece of paper towel, but I guess I'll get a new one. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and take the paper towel. I just tear a piece. I'm gonna fold it up like this and get some rubbing alcohol on it. And let's go ahead and wipe this up one more time. All right. Here, here. Okay. All right, that's about as good as we're gonna get it. You can't get it 100% perfect. I'm using the dry side to kind of clean it. Okay. Just a little bit there. All right. Hmm. Okay, so that's probably as good as we're gonna get it. It's not coming out. <clears throat> So, we're going to go ahead and get the replacement battery. The customer brought this. I don't know what brand it is, but uh, let's go ahead and see about installing it. So, <clears throat> as usual, it comes like this with this blue backing. We're going to peel this off. Okay. And I'm rolling it while pushing it down while peeling it back. Um, I don't know if you can see on some of the layers of the adhesive it is peeling up. So, that's kind of why you want to roll it back um, it'll minimize that effect okay next thing you want to line this up but you also want to make sure these screw mounts line up all right this can be a little tricky um, I usually need to look from over top so I might have to pull it here so all right so I can see the screw holes are lining up 
and then you want to make sure everything else down here lines up and we can go ahead now and drop it into place all right stick it down okay so the customer already um, unpeeled the I mean undid all the screws so now I have to figure out where the screws came from let's go ahead now and at least put back these screws for the speakers okay I'm gonna have to figure out where the rest of the screws go okay usually I don't like um, playing that guess where the screws came from game but hopefully he kept them in good order he did at least put all the cover screws where they're supposed to go with tape so we'll see how that goes all right so we got that we're gonna now peel up this clear film all right and similar so it says do not um, tear off protective film in advance please tear it off after the battery is installed so we're gonna same thing roll this back because if you pull it straight up it can separate layers inside of the battery which can be bad for the battery so I always like to roll it off this way okay and make sure to push down the battery okay I'm gonna set that aside okay next thing let's see what we got for the screws here oh I covered the paper towel with that's where it went okay all right so got these screws okay I'm guessing these two are for the battery and then these are for that so he did keep it in a in order for me pretty well I'm gonna put it like this and let's see if I can peel this off with this okay okay there we go we're gonna get these throw that tape away okay same thing we're still using the t5 or torx 5 screwdriver let's go ahead and get these screws in line that up get that in okay second screw make sure it's lined up get that in all right then you can go ahead and tighten them down okay next thing we got is this panel here so let's go ahead and peel that up Okay, there we go. Take those out. All right, and this metal plate. Okay, let's go ahead now. Oh, he's missing one of his screws. He put the thing not good enough and it fell out. Hopefully I have a replacement screw. I don't know where it went. It might have fallen out outside, but I might have a, I should have a replacement that's the same. Um, in fact, that, no, that might not be. This, okay, wait, nope, okay, I have some screws, but I think they're not the right ones. I'll check later, and then I might have a replacement of the right screw. All right, anyways, to put this battery thing in, oh, actually, we need to put in the trackpad connector first. Let's zoom in here. Oops, I left my phone charging, it's, it's overheating. Okay, let's go ahead and get this in. So you want to hold this piece back, all right? make sure this latches up and then at an angle we're going to push this into place if you put it too flat it's just going to stick to the adhesive below here so you want to put the cable in at an angle all right push it in there we go then you can go ahead and flip that latch down by sliding your finger over it like this and then we're going to get this in place line this up you don't want to stick this down yet so i'm holding that up all right get this all lined up in place it's difficult to see there we go once you get it push it down all right and then you can go ahead and get that and then you can kind of get it more in the center all right just like this okay now we're going to put this metal plate back on all right just like this then using the T5 screws, we're going to get this in. Okay, I'm loosely fitting that first so that we can get both screws lined up. Okay. Then tighten them down. All right, now for the battery. This piece a lot of times is too straight, so what you have to do is bend this back like that and then push it down. Okay. 
That way the cables here go underneath or behind that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to slowly put this up and it's easier to start with one corner. Once that corner is slightly in, you can go ahead and rotate and push that one down. Right now you can see it's all lined up and then you can go ahead and push the entire thing just like that. So now we got the whole battery into place. It's missing the plastic cover here. So if you want, you can peel that off from the old battery and then transfer that over. Okay, just like this. Okay, let's go ahead and zoom out now and get the screws back in from the bottom cover. Okay. So we got that. We're gonna get this cover lined back up. And hopefully I have a screw that's matching the same size or same type. All right, we're gonna now peel this stuff up and get all the screws back in. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Oh, there's one more thing. We do have to do a PRAM and SMC reset. So let me go ahead and switch back. We're gonna switch now to the Pentalobe 1.2 or P5 screwdriver. Hopefully he put all the right screws in the right place. I'm gonna double check. Okay, this one looks okay. Usually if you want, you can actually test the battery first before you put this back together, just in case um, you have the wrong, uh, in case the battery isn't working right. All right, so I can see this screw. Let me see if I have a matching one. I think I do. I hope so. If not, I have to put a slightly different size, which usually I don't like to do. Um... Yeah, I might not have an exact match for that screw. Wait, is this the right one? These are... Hmm. Yeah, I might not have an exact match. I'll see if I can somehow find it outside. But for now, I think this is probably the closest I have. Let's see. Mm, it's a very tiny bit taller. What about this? That's about the same height. So, okay, we'll use that. And I'll look for the original one later if I can find it. But for now, um, if you're wondering what the difference is, if you look at the threads on here, there's a thicker flat one on this. And this one is just all threads all the way up. So the original one is just the threads there. Okay, and that's usually for the two back screws here. So if for some reason you mix up your screws, oops, that's how you would know. Okay, let's peel off this tape. Okay, so that one screw wasn't taped in right, but hopefully I can find the screw outside. All right, it fits flush, so it should be okay. But again, I like to get the right screws in there. So I'm going to see what I can find. All right. Peel that up. Okay. Okay. Let's get all these screws in. And other than that, that's... Well, I have to... I keep forgetting. I have to show the PRAM and SMC reset. <laughs> So let's get these finished real quick. Okay, hopefully this battery already has some charge on it. So I'm not going to have to redo the whole, or to plug it in for a long time. Okay. Almost done with all the screws. go and last one here all right let's go ahead and do the pram and smc reset so we're actually going to do the smc reset first what you do is you open this up okay and to do smc control option shift on the left side 
and then power button. If you have the charger plugged in um, and it's orange, it'll turn green and then back to orange. That's how you know you did it right. If your battery's fully charged, you won't see anything happen. But if your computer's on, this doing that will actually shut off your computer immediately. All right. Anyways, let's try the PRAM reset. Hopefully it's the battery's charged enough. Power button, command option P and R, hold those buttons down. Normally the screen will come on. Yep, there you go. You'll hear the chime. You'll see the screen shut back off. If you don't see the screen shut back off, you can wait till you hear the chime a second time. And then once you hear that, you can go ahead and let go. And that also resets, if you notice, the volume is now at the max. It's louder on the second chime. But basically what those, does, what those things do is it resets some settings that uh, the Mac saved. It doesn't delete any data. It's quick. And it, you should do this anytime you change any major hardware components. Anyways, you can, as you can see, it booted up. All right. So we're going to shut this down. And we should be good to go. Um, yep. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. If this video wasn't helpful for replacing the battery, um, again, I make a lot of these uh, battery replacement videos for this model. So if you need help finding one, just let me know. But again, you just search uh, A1398 um, MacBook Pro battery on my channel and you should be able to find it. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Let's drop this spike.